Good morning everybody and this is your Dow Jones technical analysis for today. So starting off with the 8th hour, we have sort of, let's just uh, say we um, pull back, not really onto much structure. If I look to the left, you know, there is there are tails to look for but there's no real clear structure. So let's just say that that was uh, bottom of range, this is top of range, now we're back above the range at the moment. Uh, but this engulfing bar from uh, last week, Friday, is the one to pay attention to. Now, remember I said to you yesterday, uh, well, not yesterday, sorry, I said to you last week that we had uh, the futures closeout and uh, the main options target or the strike level was 3,500. Now, if I put a level in at 3,500, and uh, we'll have a look at that on lower time frames, but you can see pretty much early morning, prices down here, drove it back up so that the strike level would be hit. Um, happens every single time. Probably uh, the higher probability of, of that kind of trade than, uh, than a lot of patterns out there as well. But anyway, uh, at the moment we are above structure. So structure is 35,191. I uh, don't see, think there can be much difference on the three hour. Not really. You can see lots of tail to the left side. So what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a pullback onto structure for a move back to the upside. So um, for those of you who can see the double bottom here, here's the double bottom. There's a double bottom target that we need to look at, which is going to be up here. Okay, and now let's just get down to the hour and that will give us the structure we're looking for. So oscillators at the moment are not agreeing with us, um, saying that we should be looking at the level and we should be looking to pull back. Look at these tails here. So that is definitely a, a level. And let's have to put another one in here and start making the chart a little bit messy. But uh, you'll get the picture now. So that's the structure that we've reached. So I would expect some kind of a pullback onto structure. So the first bit of pullback could be a 35,191. But normally, you know, on the cash market, there'll be a gap here. So I would expect price to come back into this um, 35,100 area, possibly even all the way down to 3,500. So just to elaborate a little bit more on the futures market here, you can see there's 3,500. You can see how on Thursday they tried to drive it up. The bears obviously had futures targets lower down, they drive it down. And then we had uh, pretty solid moves to the upside uh, going into the auction. And um, 3,500 was tagged and a little bit extra. So basically the you know, strike levels worked out pretty well. So for now, I, I'm, still, I'm still a bull. So I'm looking for a pullback onto structure at the moment. And the uh, closest bit of structure is here. Now what could also happen is we could get some form of a runaway, a sort of a gap up and a runaway. And uh, that is going to be fairly bullish as well. But I don't see that happening before the markets open. And uh, these previous highs here are going to be important to pay attention to as well. So lots of little levels here. Probably looking at your 15 minute chart during the European Open at least. But um, you can see inside bar and then you can see start rising. No real pullback onto moving averages either. But uh, nevertheless, options expiry day is always like this on the monthly. Okay. So I'm looking for structure and then I'm looking for a pullback. So this could come back onto this area here of 35095 area. That's pretty much where, oh sorry, that won't be where the gap is. The gap is right here. So um, 35128 is the gap, 35128. So pullback back onto 35100 area. So if we find structure there, definitely an opportunity to buy into that. Uh, if we break below that, then I would expect uh, 3,500 to offer the support and uh, we'd be looking to get to the next two levels. So this is actually the zone that I'm looking at, 35,425 and 35,500. So 3,500 is kind of my, my target area. Uh, probably today, um, maybe into Tuesday, just depends what other catalyst or bit of noise comes out uh, driving the Dow today. Anyway, that's it for me. I'm looking to buy, just looking for, to buy off structure. Hope it helps and uh, we will catch up with you later. Cheers for now.